GH for STEM Juniors Challenge. Now we have an experiment demonstration the law of flotation. Performed by Diana Yelpasoglo. Diana is a junior scientist from Dewey MAJHS located in Jirapa Municipality in the Upper West Region of Ghana. For her practical, Diana needs two bowls of water, two calabashes, and wet clay. Now let's see what Diana can do. The law of flotation says that an object floats on the surface of water by displacing its weight in the water. This is also known as the Archimedes Principle. My empty calabash with the wet clay. I'll place the calabash B on the water. The calabash is on top of the water because there is no weight in it. Less weight and more air, giving it low density. Perfect for floating. The calabash contains the clay. As we can all see, the one with the clay sand, this is because there is weight in it. That is why it sank into the water. The weight acting on it is heavier than the water displaced in the empty calabash. This is why the heavier calabash sunk in the water due to the limited volume. More weight and less air giving it a high density, perfect for sinking. This can be applied in the ship, canoe and other uh, vehicles that travel on water. For instance, can happen where we hear that a ship or canoe sank. There may be a leak somewhere. Then the water may enter to occupy the volume that is in the, uh, this is the ship or the canoe. When that happens, it can sink down to the bottom of the water because that space which it used to display its way is being occupied. I am Mr. Mohammed Sharif, a science teacher in Dooley MAJSS. Life jackets help us float on the surface of water because they provide more volume of air with the same weight of the person. The person now displaces less water and as such does not sink. It's time for Genial's practical STEM quiz. A watermelon plate in a bucket of water will A. Submerge B. Sink C. Float Why? Give reasons for your answer. So now you can try this at home, either by yourself or with your friend from school. Make a video or take pictures of your experiment. Ask your teacher or your parents to help you post the results of your experiment on social media. Tag We Go Innovate so that you can win some fabulous prizes. Don't forget to add your name and the name of your school to your entry and hashtag GH4STEM. You can check out any of our experiments at www.wegoinnovate.org and please leave a comment. You can also follow us on social media at WeGoInnovate or WhatsApp us on 055-406-6248. Good luck with your experiment. You can be a junior scientist too.